Josh Weidorf's dad often feels anxious watching his son play such a high-pressure position as soccer goalie, but nothing compares to the anxiety he felt recently when Josh was injured. When I saw him laying on the ground, it was a big deal. I don't remember much, but what, what I've been told is I was coming out to get a ball and my own teammate knee collided with my head. Josh suffered a concussion, an injury that researchers at Nationwide Children's Hospital say has become increasingly common. A new study finds that in soccer players ages 7 to 17, the rate of head injuries shot up nearly 1600 percent over a 25-year study period. That's very dramatic and you can see um, closed head injury and concussions usually have significant consequences. But it's more than just concussions. The study also found that the rate of all soccer related injuries from sprains to broken bones more than doubled and teenagers, mostly boys, were at the greatest risk for injury. But there are some steps parents and coaches can take to help keep players safe. Make sure they participate in a preseason conditioning program. Make sure they're warming up before every practice and every game. Always wear your protective equipment like shin guards and mouth guards and make sure you're following all the rules. Josh was back in the game about two weeks after his injury and says as much as he loves soccer, his health comes first. Definitely think of yourself and your, your future ahead of the game because that's more important. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.